Hi, my name is Jonathan Weinberg, and here's another pen review. This one I'm really excited about because I've been waiting for a long time for this one. This is um, from one of my favorite pen companies, Pen PBS. I'm one of these people who are in love with this company because their pens are very affordable, they write beautifully, and uh, they're also very nice looking. This is a strange pen, but I, I kind of like it. It's, it's very long, it's quite heavy, uh, but it's a special pen to celebrate um, the Year of the Tiger, which is what 2022 is. They, they just sort of made it because uh, uh, the Year of the Tiger ends in, uh, I think, at the end of January. Um, so it's a, it's a nice kind of Christmas pen because it's got this wonderful red. Um, I, uh, I, I will show you it uninked, but here you're seeing it inked with red, beautiful red dragon ink in it. And um, it has this pagoda top and it's a gold plated nib. Um, and a very pointy bottom, kind of pagoda bottom as well. And you can see it's a piston filler. Um, 2021's pen, which I am going to also review, which I just got, um, which I think is the year of the rabbit, is uh, a vacuum filler. This is easier to fill and use. Um, although, uh, as I say, it's quite heavy and fat, which causes, at this point, you know, so it goes the section. It's quite a long section, and it's actually quite comfortable to hold. And then it gets wider, very much like a vacuum filler, um, actually. Not what you usually see in a piston filler, um, but nevertheless. Uh, and then it has a lot of room for ink. And uh, you can see the piston here, which is clear, which is kind of nice. And then it has this sort of pagoda bottom that turns the actual piston. And um, it's unusual looking, I would say, but I kind of, I like it actually. And it feels very good when you're holding it uh, in your hand. So I have a tendency to show these pens as if I'm looking at them rather than showing them to you. But here it is posted. When it's, not posted, excuse me, with the top on it, um, it doesn't, it does sort of post. You can post it, but it makes it a really heavy pen and incredibly long because I, I have size comparison for you. It's much longer than a Metropolitan or a Safari and um, you wouldn't really want to post it. And when you do post it, it's not designed in such a way so that the, it, it does, it will turn the piston if you turn the cap and that will make the ink come out. So I would not recommend, recommend posting it. Um, Anyway, I will show you the pen in detail and the box and everything. And then I am going to do, for me, an unusual thing, which is I'm going to try to draw a tiger with the pen in, the, in honor of the Year of the Tiger. I should say for those people who are into the Chinese uh, zodiac that uh, the tiger in China is considered the king of beasts. And so the tiger is associated with strength and courage um, and so not necessarily luck not necessarily with good luck but it has those particular qualities okay thanks don't one one thing i would like uh, to remind people is to subscribe because that's the way to support the channel and make sure that i keep doing these reviews and keep drawing and it makes me happy so don't forget to subscribe Okay, here's the box that it um, came in. Um, see that it has the information on the side. Um, it's the 546 and uh, it's, it says made in China and then it has the barcode, etc. And you take the sleeve out. It comes in really nice. I think this box is very nice. It's all a kind of shiny quality to it, black, and you open it up, it says 2022, it's this nice, beautiful tiger, and um, 
instead of the symbol, I think that's sort of a symbol that it's piston filler. And then here there are instructions on, uh, you know, how to, how to fill the pen, which I guess goes like this. So it's in, it's in English and Chinese. And there is the pen, sort of nicely safe, safe in this. Some people call this a kind of pen coffin. And you open it up, and the first thing you notice about it is that it's really big um, in terms of how long the pen is. And very unusual. I mean, this is not your typical fountain pen. Um, just to give you, a, it's it's around six inches long. And just to give you a visual comparison, there's this Lamy Safari, which is a pretty big pen. This is almost an inch longer. And here on the other side, we can put a Pilot Metropolitan. And that's, you know, similar size to the Safari, but uh, again, much shorter than this pen. Um, so one of my favorite colors is Diomede Red Dragon, which I think is good for this. I think it's a very good match for this pen. Goes. It's a piston filler. Of course. Oh. It's not filling. Why is that? Oh, why it's not filling? So I'm having trouble getting it to go in all the way into this bottle. It's not going to work. Hmm. So one of the things I had to do is because it wouldn't, the pen was so wide, it wouldn't fit in the normal little diamine bottle. So I ended up having to take the ink and put it the ink in a bigger, wider bottle. So that's kind of interesting. And that worked. So once I did that, I got a really good fill. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful, the red ink in there. So uh, looks very nice, I think. Okay. Twenty twenty two. I um, Red Dragon. This is a fine, I would say. It's almost, it's really kind of a Western fine, I would say. It's almost like a Japanese medium, or somewhere in between that. It doesn't have, you know, it's very stiff nib, but nice, like old pen PBS. Immediately notice it's smooth. It's like the perfect wetness. Very nice. It's just a tiny bit of feedback, but just what you want. I think the pen, it's a strange looking pen, but it's actually quite comfortable. And uh, let's do a little writing here. to form all pen BBS pens that I have just write so nicely. 
It's reverse writing. Actually, it's very nice reverse writing. Perfect. You could write like this. And then you get an extra fine. It's totally smooth this way. Hmm. That's nice. One of the things about um, PenBF and BBS nibs is they have a slight turn up, so uh, which is sometimes called a Waverly nib. So the nib sort of goes up a little bit like that, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit, and that gives you just a little bit. I give you line variation if you write like this. I don't. You can see there is line variation that way. And that's typical of a Waverly limb, the, a nib. And, and also, I think that does give your writing a little bit of pizzazz and variety. Anyway, it's just very, very nice the way it writes. And I love, I love this ink. Uh, 